We're here because this factory is owned by Elbit. Elbit is Israel's largest arms company and they make 85% of Israel's drones and those drones are used to drop bombs on the people of Gaza. So we know that last summer um, over 2,000 Palestinians in Gaza were killed by the Israelis and around 800 of them were killed by drones. So this company is complicit in the murder of those people. We got up really early uh, as a group and we all came in the middle of the night and uh, basically took over the factory. Some people climbed over the fence and went on the roof. It really wasn't rocket science, like anybody can do it. And uh, some took the roof, some took, uh, went inside and uh, some stayed outside, uh, locked on and speaking to journalists and generally having a really nice time. And we've been pretty, uh, yeah, it's been pretty chilled with the police. <laughs> we've just massively ignored them. <laughs> also been uh, writing the names of over like we've been doing this all day like writing the names of some of the uh, people who were murdered in Gaza last year uh, when Israel attacked on these pieces of white ribbon and um, we've got their names we've got uh, their age and we've been attaching them to the fence and literally it's like it's completely heartbreaking like it brings it like, yeah, you can start relating to it a bit more because it humanises it. There's even one that I left blank because the person or the baby died before even being born and he, there was one that was 22 days old and you've got like families with the same surname that just go on and on and on. Um, so it's trying to like show the different sides of how Israel's attack has like been absolutely d disastrous on a human level, on a structural level, on a social cultural level. And political and financial. Well, we're handing out these uh, leaflets, we're putting them around the uh, doors in the estate quite close to the factory because uh, it's quite obvious that people don't know it's there, and uh, when they find out, people are often horrified that there's, an, uh, there's a factory making devices to murder and kill children and innocent people. Thousands of miles away. So this is a, this is a useful tool for us. They can hide behind the an anonymity of an industrial estate without much signage. But uh, once these go through people's doors, they're going to know what's really going on. So there's been uh, throughout the day some people from um, around Broadstairs that have come from Kent in general, uh, and they've come to show support. They've they've had a there's been a really good response actually. Some people have gone into town to also flyer. And uh, many people don't even know that this factory exists here and what they do. And it's happened in correlation with uh, other, three other occupations actually. Uh, two in uh, the Midlands of England, where there's also two Albit factories, and one in Melbourne, because today's the, like one year since the beginning of the war in Gaza. So there's one that's had a lot of pop, uh, popular um, public uh, support because it was announced in advance, and there's been 30 arrests next to Birmingham, Shellstone. And then there was another one in the Midlands and Melbourne, they finished a few hours ago, but they have got a time difference. <laughs> we try and make it fun, we try and make it enjoyable, and, it, and it's been an awesome day. What this company also represents is the relationship between the UK and Israel's war crimes, and shows how the UK is complicit in those war crimes. So what we're here to do today to do is to put out a clear message that what there must be immediately is a two-way arms embargo. So the UK must stop all export licenses to Israel and it must stop all imports from Israel. And that's the demand we're making here today.